We also went to Chick fil A on the worst time because it's lunchtime. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a really, really long time. Yeah, you haven't. Ever since Keaton was born, you haven't vlogged in a long time. I have vlogged here and there, but I just haven't been doing it as much. to get a gift for someone hello but also um i do need to look no we already got stuff for krista it's for another friend um yeah my friend krista is literally nine months pregnant i am waiting she's counting down the weeks i'm hoping she goes in like two weeks i hope she goes the weekend of my birthday that would be like the best birthday gift ever because i'm birthday. so excited I hope her baby comes like around my birthday and their anniversary like their wedding anniversary is July 20th my birthday is July 24th so I am predicting July 25th I think she's gonna be like seven pounds 11 ounces we already did our predictions Anthony thinks she's gonna come early like the 18th I think he said but she's due like the first week of August but in my own personal opinion about it, and same with her, she thinks that her due date is like, or her ovulation or whatever, like she thinks it was not accurate. So she really thinks that her due date is more like the last week of July. So we will see. She's actually, hold on babe. She's actually measuring a little bit ahead than what she is. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, but I'm really, 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 really excited. But yeah, we're gonna go look for something else for another friend who has a baby shower um, next month. And I also need to look for some things for Kaden. Tomorrow is the day I'm getting my hair done. It's been, I wanna say, since I was about seven or eight months pregnant. So it's been quite a while since I've gotten my hair done. It's so grown out. It, I feel like it's finally to a point where it's getting a little bit healthier. So, I mean, it's still damaged and it's still dry, but I have a lot of roots and I really just want to get them touched up. Um, but I'm going to keep the same extensions. I actually switched back to my Luxies. I just got new extensions in the mail, the same ones as these, but I just wanted to refresh them because these are super dry. <laughs> I want to see your little sandals. Let me see your little sandals. Comes another one. Here comes another truck. Mm -hmm. oh, see the car. Yes. Wow. All right. Oh, is that one? What did you get? A couple little things. Uh huh. It's like a mystery. Oh, a mystery thing. toy. And you got your scrub. Mm hmm. Oh, here comes another. Oh, sorry. There's another one. So interesting. Oh, oh, here comes a red one. See the yeah, red car? What is it? Here comes the red truck. I want another oh. It's a little seal. That's Aww, cute. How cute. Oh, 
Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> it's called Neil. <laughs> Come on, Neil. I adopted you today. <laughs> you see everything. So, me and Mackenzie are sitting here and I'm eating a snack. Gonna get ready to leave because Caden just had a bottle and he ate. Um, gotta head home soon. Get Caden ready for bed and Belle ready for bed. But I'm having carrots and mustard. And if you know, you know. If you watch TikTok, I'm trying it and it's really good. But I also like mustard. Mackenzie thinks it's weird. It's weird. But it's actually really good. And the crunch. And I also didn't realize that mustard like is really low in calories and literally has nothing else but sodium. Only 60 milligrams of sodium, five calories per serving, zero fat, zero carb. So I've been trying that. It's really good. What? So we have been really liking TikTok. Um, there's this girl in there and she always comes up on my feed or like the for you page or whatever. And she always has all these raw veggies with mustard. So I decided to try carrots and mustard. Before you go. I feel like mustard. Hello. guys it is really like stormy out today it's like really rainy and gloomy i think it's going to be storming all day um i wanted to show you guys 
my extensions because I didn't get a chance to. Greg, you're not gonna go outside, it's raining. We usually go out on the deck every morning, but it's raining out there, so. Grayson, you can't go out there, it's rainy. Look, it's not nice. I'm sorry, baby. You can't go out there. We went to um, Bye Bye Baby yesterday, and um, I also wanna show you guys a few things that I got from Old Navy for Caden too, but I picked up another uh, swim set. This is six months, um, which is a little big on him, but most six month clothing and stuff fits him. Uh, this shirt actually does look pretty, like it's going to fit him well. Um, and I, the other one that I have is Carter's. This is not Carter's, this is freestyle something. But I wanted a short sleeve rash guard because the other one he has is long sleeve and it's just so hot. So I wanted to get a short sleeve one. That's why when we went to the beach, which we did go to the beach for the first time but I did not vlog it, it was so hectic. <laughs> I hate to say that it like wasn't fun but it was just a lot, you know, like having a baby, a five month old, a five month old at the beach for the first time, it was hard. He just like would not nap. He was crying majority of the time. The only time he was calm was if you were holding him by the water. Yeah, it was just, uh, it was hectic. But anyway, we're taking a vacation down the shore with just my family in August. So we'll see how that is. But the thing is, is when we went down for the day, we didn't have a house to go to. If we had a house to go to and like bring him back for naps, I feel like it would have been fine. But because we were down there all day long in the sun and nowhere to go, it was just a lot. But I didn't vlog any of that. Um, I picked up just two onesies that are footless, like without the footies, just for the summer. And these are nine month because he's already like pretty snug fitting into six month. And these were, I think, two for 20 at Bye Bye Baby. And then I also got him two little toys. Oh, and I got him this little onesie because I've been meaning to get this. <laughs> I'm chilling with my pops because he calls my dad Pup Up and we call him Pops. He's been obsessed with watching Mickey Mouse, so I got him this really cute Mickey Mouse toy, his first Mickey Mouse, and you can attach it to anything. So I'm probably gonna put it on here for right now so you can play with it. What do you think? You like that? Should I put it on something so you can play? Let's see. Yeah, baby. Bella is still sleeping. Um, she usually sleeps in. And Caden gets up around like 7.30, 7 sometimes. But he goes down around 7, 7.30. Sometimes 8. But usually whatever time he goes down is the same time he wakes up. I also got this cute little toy. It's actually like a two-in-one, so you can take this off. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Um, but it can go on like a high chair or something and stick on there for them to play with. Just on like a tabletop. And I needed one of these. Um, his aunt actually got one for him, but I left it at her house. So uh, I just decided to get another one. He really likes this too. See, he's like obsessed. Finally, I'm going to get my hair done today and I'm so excited. Um, I cannot wait. So my mom's actually gonna watch the kids um, around 2.30ish, 2 o'clock. So I have my appointment around 2.45. I'm gonna drop them off on my way and we'll be there until Anthony gets home from work. And I think he said if he gets home at a decent time, he can probably go pick them up because I don't know how long I'm gonna be at the salon for. It might be a long appointment. <laughs> I really just don't know. And I know they're probably trying to juggle like a lot of clients at once. This is the first time I'm going to this salon, so we'll see how it goes. I am a little nervous because I'm, ow! I'm a little nervous because I am very picky with my hair. Um, I guess like doing hair for a living and being cosmetologist, you're just like, you trust very little people to do your hair. So crossing my fingers, it turns out well, I'm sure it will. If anything, I can always fix it at home. <laughs> but I guess, yeah, I just always put off 
like pampering myself and I've talked about this before but just recently when I lightened my hair was probably one of like the first times that I actually did something with my hair because I never do anything and this is my natural hair it's like really short and gross and uneven like I said I did just order um, more of my extensions and I switched back to Luxie hair because my hair is faded so much the ones from Bellamy were um, too light so I switched back to these and I really like these I really like the color of them I liked them ever since I like lightened my hair I'm sorry if you hear Kaden crying he's literally fine he just whines when I leave the room in the chestnut brown balayage and I plan to keep my hair this color um, and just like tone it to match but this is what it looks like it's like blonde highlights. So I ended up getting the blonde highlights and then, or the chestnut brown highlights and then the chestnut brown balayage. I got two sets. He just wants to be held all the time. And I can't do that or else I will get nothing done. So, let's see if I can open these. Lighting is like not good at all right now because I'm literally under my dining room light. So this is the balayage. Hold on, stay here, baby. This is the balayage. See how it's like dark and then fades to these lighter pieces on the bottom. That's what I've been using right now, but I want to kind of put in a little bit more of these and this is the highlight. So it's more like, I don't know, it's lighter. I don't know if you can tell. This is the worst lighting ever. I'm really sorry. Can we eat the num num? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Mention these bibs on my Instagram story. Um I got these on Amazon and I like them so much better than the ones I've gotten from Target from like the Cloud Island brand. But this brand, let me see if I have the other one. It came in a two pack, so he's wearing uh, one of them from this, but these are what they look like. They're silicone bibs. I love it because the top is like a a lot more adjustable the neckline than the other one that I have they're lighter weight so they're not like super heavy and thick like they're more of a thinner material really flexible and this is the brand Lila and Jack I'll have a link below to my Amazon shop because I share a ton of baby products like all my favorite stuff you can shop on Amazon um, but I love these. I like them so much better than the ones from Target. And they're also bigger. Like they're, there's more <laughs> space for food to fall. Um, and these are the other ones. They're a lot smaller. They're thicker. They're kind of like heavy. And they don't adjust as much as, at the top. And I feel like every time I put these on him, he pulls them off so easily. See right now he's pulling on it. It's not coming off. He pulls these ones off so easily and they don't fit his neck. So really like these. They have a ton of different patterns, colors, and um, I don't think they're that expensive for like a two pack on Amazon. What are you doing, mister? You're throwing things everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like these um, spoons too. I have them linked in my Amazon shop. They're like, they come in like a four pack and they're all silicone. Really, really like these too. And once again, I will have my high chair linked as well. It's the Aurabelle. Really, really like it. The seat actually reclines. So when you're first trying out foods or if you want your baby to like kind of sit at the table with you, um, you can adjust the seat height to go up or down and the seat actually reclines So when he was a lot smaller, we would have him reclined a little bit without the tray um, Just to like sit by us or if I was cooking or whatever 
So I really like it. It's more of like a transitional high chair. And this one is pretty large. Like it is not travel friendly at all. Um, we've tried several high chairs actually. And we have one at my parents. We also got another one from Nuna, which I really liked. Um, but I actually ended up gifting that to one of my family members um, because they were in need of one. The other one that we have at my parents is more travel friendly. We'll probably end up bringing that on our vacation. It's the Juvie Nook and it's like, it folds up. It's a bit heavy, but it folds up and it's more compact than this is. And I actually really enjoy that one too. This tray can come off and you can wash it. Obviously he's not of age where he's like playing with foods on here, but that'll come in handy. And this tray can also store on the back magnetically. I love the color too. They come in a few colors. I think they come in pink, gray, this color. I don't know what else. 